All right. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. You may have forgotten since I only did it one other time and I skipped last week, but this is the Monday awareness upgrade. So every Monday or let's say most Mondays to give myself some space to be a human, uh, it will be the Monday awareness upgrade at 11 a.m. Just for, I mean, I don't know, maybe it'll get longer, but I think just for 10 or so minutes for right now. But the Monday awareness upgrade, I'm going to give you a little, a little tidbit, a little prompt inspiration for the week to enhance your awareness. So last time I talked about what is awareness and the architecture of awareness. So when we understand or have more knowledge about ourselves, we're able to do better. We're able to create our lives and everything the way that we want it rather than just moving through and kind of bouncing around and, and blindly, you know, blindly moving through our lives. So that's kind of the underlying idea is that we're using different things, we're using different mirrors to see ourselves in different ways, from different angles, from a different perspective, a different glimmer of light, a different aspect of our being so that we can continue to see more and more of the whole picture. And the more we do that, the more we get to do better. The more we get to be more aligned with who we want to be and be better. Welcome, Danny. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I'm going live with Danny at, at 12, actually. So lots of live uh, con content today. So today's topic is about affirmation and speaking in the affirmative. So you've probably heard the word affirmation or used affirmations, and this is typically an I am statement, uh, but really it can be any statement that you want to affirm, that you want to, to happen, to be true. So I am statements that are used as affirmation could be I am, I am calm, I am peaceful, I am love, I am powerful. Anything that I want to affirm about myself even if it feels like a little bit out of reach, a little bit far-fetched in this moment, like something that I'm striving for, I'm still using that affirmation to bloom more and more into that quality, into that way of being. Because ultimately, we, we have a lot of um, aspects of our being that might be suppressed or we might not be fully utilizing, and we can cultivate those. So even if you don't feel at this moment or at any moment like you're super powerful as a person, you can be, you have that potential, we all do. So using affirmation statements to move in the direction of qualities that we want to bring out and ways of being that we want to deepen into as we move through our lives. So if you're, if you're live with me, share an affirmation, if you're willing, share something that you are embodying or that you are moving towards embodying more. Okay. So it's not, it's not perfect. It's a practice. So I am powerful is one that I use a lot because it's easy in this world to get frustrated and feel like this and like, I'm going to just go home and sleep for a week and to feel disempowered. So I really like to use the one, uh, I am powerful. And if you have one that you like to use, please share it either in the live or later on in the comments. I would love to hear and I would love us to affirm each other's affirmations. So if someone writes an affirmation in the comments, you can respond, you can give a little emoji, you can say, yes, you are, that sort of thing. So we're supporting and uplifting one another as we recreate ourselves and become more aware of maybe the things that are blocking you from fully being in that vibration of whatever affirmation you're using okay so that's part of the part of the awareness and then speaking in the affirmative is similar but but different so if i'm say worried about not having enough money that's a big one right not having enough money or i'm gonna lose my money or i'm gonna lose my job or blah 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 and all the time I'm just talking about how I don't have enough money or I'm afraid of this and that with my job, with my finances, with all of this stuff, then I'm affirming all the time something that I don't want, okay? I'm affirming all the time something I don't want. And so my mind is always in this place of lack and scarcity and fear. And I can actually end up creating more of a thing that I don't want because that's just the vibration that I'm aligned with. Let's see what Danny said. I'm strong enough. I'm pure energy. I'm creative. Yes, you are. Thank you for sharing. Um, so we don't want to affirm the things that we don't want. So 
you're allowed to acknowledge where you're at. You're allowed to say, oh, I'm feeling worried about whatever. I feel some fear coming up around this. Fine. Like that's all the na- that's all natural and part of the human experience. But you don't want to affirm that all the time. So if you write about that in your journal or you share that in a conversation with a friend, you know, once a week, fine. But if that's if that is what all of your conversations and all of your thoughts consist of, then that's the vibration that you're in. Okay. So if you're like, I'm lonely, I'm alone, I don't have money, I'm whatever, just focusing on the negative stuff, then you're affirming that. So you get to practice changing the channel on your mind and also on your your speech, the things that you're saying in the world to affirm something that you do want, okay? So maybe you practice the the affirmation, I am abundant, okay? Or I'm trusting in the universe to provide for me. Or I have everything I need. That's a big one. My friend um, Austin, shout out to Austin, reminded me of that the other day when I was saying something that I want, which actually I think was money. <laughs> and, um, and he reminded me that I have everything I need already, which is true. So I do have everything that I need. And also there's more stuff that I want. So both of those things are beautiful, but I want to just make sure I'm affirming something positive and not being in a state of deficit and lack all the time. So I am abundant would be a great one to use if I'm feeling worried about about that sort of thing or also just practice saying i am working on whatever i am looking for a new job i am open to new opportunities i am i am creative is a great one that's one that i'm practicing this week is i am creative in how i come up with opportunities and receive abundance and open myself up to possibilities so sometimes we get very fixated in our mind on one thing of i need this one thing to work out with this one one person or this one group of people and this one job and this one like whatever it is we get very attached to the details And then it's like we have blinders on. We can't see the possibility of all the other stuff that's out there. So I am, so creativity for me is feeling like something that will help me to access more of those possibilities and kind of the flexibility in my own mind of how things have to look. So there's a way that I want to feel and there's a way that I want my life to feel but the details of how I make that happen are highly negotiable. So, so creativity, openness to possibilities, shifting your mind, shifting my mind into that channel rather than being in this channel of lack and deficit. So if anyone has any comments or thoughts or questions, feel free to drop in the comments or in the, in the chat either now or later. But I want to mention because, well, so next week I'm starting my Live Your Yoga uh, 13-week transformation. And one of the yogic principles that we'll be looking at is truth or satya. I have a free event tomorrow evening where we're going to look at all these principles and you'll have the opportunity to hear the verses, to chant, to meditate, to breathe, to be with community. So please sign up for that. The the link is, is somewhere in the ethers. You'll find it. It's called Yoga Principles to Live By. So the verse that describes the principle of satya is true or truth says satya pratishtayam kriya palashrayatvam. So satya is the practice of truth. Pratishtayam is one who is firmly established in that practice. And then kriya palashrayatvam is is translated roughly to one who so one who is firmly established in the practice of truth their words are potent and whatever is said is realized okay and kriya is an action and pala is a fruit so the the actions that you perform or and in this case the actions can be the words that you speak or even the thoughts that you think to a certain degree but the actions create fruits or results Kriya palashrayatvam. So one who is established in the practice of truth, your words become so potent that you're constantly creating your reality. You're constantly realizing that which you have said or spoken or thought. 
So we need to be careful what we're aligning our, our words and our, our thoughts with. If it's constantly something that we don't want, then that's the direction that we start veering in. So we want to fine tune, or maybe more than fine tune, maybe take a whole different direction to actually be creating what we do want so that our actions create the fruits that we want to, to eat, to enjoy the sweetness that we want to feel in our lives. Okay, so any comments or questions, please, please write, please uh, drop a comment or DM me. Please sign up for the free meditation tomorrow evening at seven, Yoga Principles to Live By. There's an event on Facebook. There's a link on Instagram in my profile. It's a really nice event. I did it before for the winter solstice and everyone really enjoyed it. When you, when you chant, uh, I mean, I'm going to invite you to chant. If chanting seems a little scary and far out for you at this moment, no worries. You can just sit and breathe, but taking deep breaths, whether or not you're chanting something, will get you feeling real elevated, real light. So that's what we experienced last time when we got to do this together. So please join my program that will go through all of these yoga principles starts next Tuesday, March 1st. It's the Live Your Yoga 13-week transformation. So I'm really excited. I have a beautiful group of humans forming, and if you're interested, please please come talk to me. Please reach out and be open to possibilities of, of making it happen. So just to review for a moment, using affirmation, using statements that affirm what who we are or what we want or who we're becoming, right? So it doesn't have to feel 100% true right now. So if you haven't already, welcome, welcome, Danny, pretzel, welcome. Um, please, please share an affirmation in the, in the comments. What do you want to affirm about yourself today that you are? Hey, oh, thanks, pretzel. Affirm something about you too. <laughs> Brett affirmed that I'm the coolest. <laughs> um, and then speaking in the affirmative, so speaking about speaking in the direction of things that you want more of rather than things that you don't want more of because you're just in this negative mind loop. So we want to take the leap of faith over from negative mind loops that just go and will spiral us down and down and down and down over to the positive feedback loop. This is all the positive stuff that we want to create that will then help us go up and up and up. And it doesn't mean that you're never allowed to have negative thoughts or that you're never allowed to you know, vent, complain, share, whatever, like that's all good. And we need to clear out and empty of that stuff, but think of it as that, as clearing and emptying out. So then you can change the channel in your mind to the affirmative, to more of what you want. Okay. Oh, Brett said, I am content. Beautiful. And that's a really difficult practice that I've learned more and more being content. So hooray for that, <laughs> for that practice. Um, and Oh, and that and contentment is one of the yoga principles as well. It's called santosha, contentment, kind of this middle ground. So we'll be tuning into that one tomorrow as well as in my program. So have a great week. Practice an affirmation. Practice affirmative speaking and the principle of satya, truth. Thank you, thank you. I'm Devoted Heart Lauren. Please share and comment. See you soon. See you next week.